the women's anthem. The colorful ceremony started with the dance and entertainment. The guest of honor, President Museveni, inspected the guard of honor. The parade was composed of only women under the command of Captain Beatrice Kunhira. Women showed off skills that were previously a reserve for men, like these trainees from the police training school, Masindi. It is the day when women reflect on the progress they have made and the task ahead. The economic contribution of women is no longer questionable, or the transformation they have made to different sectors. We know that the women are the biggest producers. They produce 80% of all the food we eat, and they contribute more than 40% of the, of the informal sector production, but they don't own the land on which they, they, they produce. Women's representation in the 8th parliament is at 30% and is one of the best in Africa. Education of women has increased at all levels. President Museveni applauded the women on their achievements. He warned men to stop abusing women and encouraged them to report domestic violence cases to the authorities, but also advised the women to find partners who respect them. <laughs> However, women activists say Ugandan women still face a lot of inequality which limits their production potential and economic growth. Women still report gender-based violence which affects their physical, psychological and social well-being. Today, Ugandan women joined yet again in solidarity to act on their right to equality and to remind the political leadership of the need to support the laws to protect their dignity. Agnes Asimwe, NTV Weekend Edition.